welcome to another episode of Mark Talks Football. And today we got a top of the table clash. It will be us versus Derby. First versus second. And I've made some physical changes. And the player that I wanted to, to get on um, to get for the season is in. Um, thank fuck he did because Sam Smith's out for another four months. Three months. <sighs> anyway, let's just show you what I've done, shall we? So, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. I brought Lewis Grabham back. <laughs> uh, he played for Reading under the Yapstam era. Um, and Yapstam decided to play him as a midfielder at one point. So that went well for him. He's had a lot of clubs since then. As you can see, I've got a new um, layout of how everything looks. Um, so as you can see, after Reading, he went back to Bournemouth, then went to Sunderland on loan, went to Villa on loan, moved to Nottingham Forest, scored a bag load of goals to them as well. Was released after the 21-22 season, went to Al Halal, and looked like he didn't play a game or has played a game. I do not know. But he went to Saudi Arabia for a year, and now he's come back. He has played four games for us, more than that actually. He's played, um, he's played three games for us overall, and he's got three goals. The one goal he hasn't scored in the league yet. He did just score a hat trick against the Chelsea under twenty one. So let me just show you what happened after the five 0 win that we've had. Um, we're unbeaten, scoring a shit ton of goals. Uh, we then beat uh, Stevenage in the Cup 4-0, beat Shrewsbury in the League 4-1, uh, and then beat Chelsea in the um, Papa John's Trophy. Uh, thing. I think that means we're automatically qualified now. I don't know anymore. How do I find it? Southern section, all group. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so us and Northampton um, have qualified, so we will be going through to the next round. We've got Fleetwood. Ah, that's why, because we've got we've been drawn drilling. And fuck me. Uh, we've got Fleetwood in the FA Cup second round, so that could be interesting. Uh, and then we've got Gillingham in there as well. Um, so it's all about now what we can do after this game. So we're going to play Wickham, who have just got a new manager. They're second from bottom in the league, and their new manager is... Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, who had a bet on who, who the new manager was going to be? Did anyone think it was going to be Oli Gunnar Solskjaer? Because when it popped up on my screen, I did not think that was going to happen. So, what have we done differently? Nothing. Um, we've done nothing really that much different apart from Graben uh, is now going up front while Sam Smith is up for another three months. Um, Harvey Nibs has sort of dropped out of the team. His work rate and everything's been quite poor. Um, as you can see on the sides now, we've got a lot more uh, data and that can sort of get me going. Get me going? That sounded creepy as fuck. Um, sort of me having a better understanding of the players, uh, better of what we're doing, how things are going, all that type of thing. So we've got all of this. We're very happy with it all. Uh, let's just get into the game. Uh, I'm not too particularly worried about that that situation at the moment. But we're going to get into this game. We've had a few people tell me they're upset with the amount of game time they're getting. Um, Harley Dean's one of them, and Button is another. Uh, Joel Pereira is having better um, average rating than what um, Button's getting. But we're also going to put Matthew Longstaff there as well. Hutchinson can come out. Nibs can go instead of Mo Kamara. So, that's a bit weird. So, let's have a look at this team. We should be absolutely fine, I think, in this game. Um, yeah. Happy. Let's go. But yeah, as you can see, I've changed the layout of everything because it was annoying me. Uh, I've got more data to look at things as well. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, and at the same time, we're winning. 
So I'm even happier with that. Um, but yeah. Still sticking with the 2D class. But as you can see now, a lot more information. We can see a lot more statistics there. Um, our stats. Then we've got what's going on here. Elliot, where's he going to go with it? Three wings there. Off the post. Grab him. Great save. Aziz, what's he going to do with it? And then the block. And now they're going to try and hit us on the counter. And they're getting through. Are Derby County going to be able to make this count? No. We are very attacking through set pieces. but Because I like to. But yeah. So we can see here. Um, a lot more sub league table, both of the formations of both teams. So we can see what each other's doing on. Um, sort of makes everything a little bit easier. I've just pressed the wrong button. That's great. But they've gone long. What's Nestor Guinness Walker going to do here? That was a very shit pass from Wing. Not doing well here, keeping control of the ball because Derby look like they want to go on the attack. I am B. Where's it going? Back to Will Smith. Not the Chris Rock beater. <laughs> anyway. Right, Pereira. Binden. Longstaff. Hit Aziz. Going down the line. There we go. Right, now let's run at them. Good cross to the back. Pulls there. Heads it across the face. A goal. And Paul Muda woo 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 has got the first goal of the game. And for some reason, we're, we we're wearing our away kit at home, as you do. So here we go. Paul Aziz down the line, swings it to the back post. And there's Paul, leaps above everyone, fucking smashes it in. Makes it 1-0 against Derby. Can't do a Derby accent. Right. Good header out. Can we close this down for the second? Great tackle. Aziz is now going on the counter. There's a player wide open, but it doesn't see it. Carries on running down the line. Go on, find a player. Swings it in. Grabbins there. I think... Offside? No. It is goal. That was a great run there by Femi Aziz. I thought he was going in the middle of nowhere. But Lewis Grabben gets his first league goal of the season. And he, the contract is only for eight months. So his contract will be up at the end of the season, which is fine. Um, he's 35, 36, something like that. But also, I, this is this is something that you do lot don't care about, but I do. I brought myself a new water bottle, right? It's three and a half litres, and it is absolutely fucking huge. It's bigger than the size of my fat head. It is huge, like, these nuts. Ha! Got him. Oh, old school memes. Right, here we go. Long throw in. Gets it to Paul. And Bouguet's going again. Cross, Paul. Fuck me. That went miles. I think we found our mojo again. I think we have found our mojo again. We had that little blip. We're losing two games on a row. But I think we found the mojo again for us to keep pushing on forward. Remember as well, if we had that four points that got deducted from us at the start of this season, then we would be six points clear at the top. Yeah. Six points clear. Mm. No. Yeah. God, my brain did not want to fucking function then, did it? Right, and Nyambi, Burhan, great block. And Bouge, where are you going to go? Down the line to Aziz. Grabben, where is he going to go with it? Lovely run here. Trying to take him on, and he does it really well. Paul, oh, Paul should have scored that. Should have made that three and really seal this game away from Derby County. Is that Danny Rose that's playing for... It is. Former Tottenham. Long throw, headed about, and wings there. This is why we don't do short throw-ins. Mbouge's long throw. Binden with the flip back, and wing with the knuckle. Look at this. Mbouge does it. Flicks it back, and there is wing. Wide open. Defence not there. And 
No, it was Abby that flicked it. Both of them went up for it. Uh, Abby flicked it and able to get the goal to make it three. We are scoring a lot of goals now. Um, and this is very sexual football at the moment. But, can we do something now? Ward, going out wide to Adair. Where are we going to go with it? Does well. Passes it back in the middle to Thompson. Out wide to Ward. Great closing down here. Still need to defend as a unit. Crosses it in. Washington was there, but Longstaff does brilliantly well to control it to give it next to Guinness Walker. Here comes Paul. He loses it out. And here comes Derby County again. Nyambe trying to go down the line. Cross the face of goal. John Jules. Nyambe cuts back, cuts in, shoots, and Joel Pereira is there to collect it. All right, let's make a few subs. Uh, Lewis Wing can come out now. Let's bring Hutchinson on. Don Ballard can come on. I know Graben's got a goal, but let's do it. Ben Elliott can come out for Vickers. Yeardham can come on for Bindon. Matthew Longstaff's not having a great game. But at the same time, if you play on, you might be able to pick something up. Who knows? Oh, beautiful pass out wide. Can he go he's going over the top? Rooney's there. And here comes Aziz going down the line. Gets tackled, but can he make a hat trick of assists? Off the crossbar. Gee, what a run by Femi Aziz. He has got the tail between his legs today and he's going for it. He wants to shit on them. Graphic sort of way of putting it, Mark, isn't it? Great coming out of Joel Pereira there. Exactly what I want to see. Right, what is he doing now? Is he going to do it short to the defender or go long? A nice little conversation there. Ah, oh, throws it out. Lovely to Yeardom. Who's, who's fucking taking it for a mission? Mbuge, where's he going? Yeardom in the middle to Hutchinson. Does well to control that while defender was coming at him. Here comes Nesta Guinness Walker. Cuts inside, comes back outside. Goes across the face of goal. Doesn't get it. Abby wins it down beautifully. Come on, Paul. Cuts in. Cuts it back. Matty Longstaff and gets his first goal for the club. Must have taken a massive deflection. What a strike that was from the young Geordie. And here comes Paul Mudawicki. Down the line. Cuts it back. And there is a fucking massive deflection. Of Rooney to get the goal. First goal for the club as well. He'll take that. Which makes that now we've scored more four or more goals in the last four games. Goal machine, I told you this for me. Oh, fuck. Not oh, well on Hutchinson. Abby, Pereira. Out wide to Nesta Guinness Walker. What are you going to do with it, Nesta? Tries to go down the line, but isn't is intercepted. Thompson, here comes... Great. Oh, no. Intercept. It got it. Wins it back. Shoots out wide. Doesn't really test the goalkeeper at all. Right. So, can we make one more change? I think we can. Bring this to Guinness Walker off. He's not having a great game. Be pleased he's coming on for the final four minutes. All right. Cleared out. Can we... we I don't know what went on. Right, we are nearly at the end here of this of this game. And then we will be going against second bottom of the league, Wickham, under manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So. Oh, dear. And that has made... Me signing Lewis Graben, very much worth it. But Aziz gets two assists in that game. We get we bring on an absolute banger. And now we've got to play second from bottom and see how it goes. Right, I will see you guys. Right. right. But as you can see here, my favourite person, Gareth McCleary. Playing against, but it's fine. Nelson Abbey is suspended for this game. 
So Andy Yeardum's going to come in. Uh, Harley Dean yeah. will come in. Mar right. Four games, four goals. Let me see. Man is a goal scoring machine, all because of me. I am going to take this as a win for myself while I drink the big fuck off bottle. <laughs> this is bigger than the size of my fucking head. <laughs> love it. Absolutely fucking love it. All right, fucking move this out of the way. Nah, fuck off, you prick. That hurt. All right. So against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Wickham, who are second from bottom, we are top of the league, two points clear. Yeah, and Wickham have got the early chance here, using their away kit at home. Right, they're going to go near post, or in the middle. Oh, back post. Going for it in this game. Starting off strong. Probably trying to get that new manager bounce at home. And here comes Redding. And Bugge goes to Elliot. Quick one to Paul. And here comes Bindon. Is he going to shoot? He does go straight to Ward. That'll be our first shot. First shot on target. All right, here we go. We're going to go long this time. And then Paul gets there in front. Swings it across, and Andy Yeardom is there to bag in a goal. All right. That was not on my bingo card today, Andy Yeardom getting a goal. But here comes Paul, tucks it around the line, smashes it across the face of goal, and Yeardom's there to volley it past the keeper to make it 1-0 to the Royals. <laughs> I've done the clearing. And he, he's going to score against me. He did both times in my personal save. Uh, McCleary's... Fuck me. Scored twice against me. Red in. All right, McCarthy's going to try and get it out. Goes long, but Paul intercepts it. Wing, lovely play here. Elliot. Aziz through the ground. There is Lewis Graben. Five goals in five games. The man can't stop scoring. He went over to Saudi. Got the Saudi money. Come back. And has gone. I need to redeem myself after what Yapstan did to me. And by God is that. Oh, it took a massive deflection as well. Uh, and by God is he doing that. I am so good at this game. My ego is going to start taking over now, and I'm getting really worried how big my ego is going to get. But as we know, I do have history of the final three games of the season at falling apart. But for me. So let's hope. Former Wickham player wing shows swing in, and Bugge goes back to wing, but here comes Gareth McCleary. And Elliot is there to intercept him. And goes back to the goalkeeper. Here comes Connor Boyce Clark. Goes to Bindon. Where's he going to go with this now? Goes back out wide to Nesta Guinness Walker. Nesta Guinness Walker goes down the line to Paul. Paul, what's he going to do? Back to wing. Wing to Savage. Savage to Nesta Guinness. Fucking, oh, lovely spin. Grabbing. Aziz is there. Oh. All that build up to just be able to get it. They've made more final third passes than what we've done. More height intensity passes than us as well. But we're winning, so I don't care. It's when I lose, I care. When I'm winning, I don't care. Right, here goes McCarthy. Swings it in. Heads it out. Right, what are we going to do here? Tries to close down. Do not do any stupid challenges. Face a goal. And that's a penalty. I think Yeardom tried to stop that as he was through and didn't come up. And here it comes. Lee, 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 Lee. 
and smashes it into the top corner, making it 2-1. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needed that, and he got it. Fucking, he rifled the prick out of that. He did like a mini minter and went, time to smash it. And he fucking did. Right, five minutes into the second half. They've got their goal they needed. Only 5,000 fans are here today for them. Pimpot. And it's a penalty to us. Who is going to be the one stepping up to take this? I think Wing is our penalty taker. I could be wrong. It is Wing. And against his former club. Fucking going up. He's doing all of that. He scores the penalty. goes past the home fans. goes shh. That's in my mind. That's what I think he's doing. He scores and then runs like, yeah, it's fucking out that, you pricks. Shh. Suck on my watermelon sugar high. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, grabbing. Couldn't be arsed with that. And that's fine. But here comes Paul. Where's he going to go with it? Keeps running. Shoots just over the top. We are nearly at the 70th minute. We're going to make a few changes here to rest some players or to give them some match time. Uh, so, right. Make a change. Watermelon sugar. Oi. You can come off. Elliot can come off for Vickers. And Bouge can come off for him. And Yeardum can now go to right back. So, let's get going. Right, 61st, oh, fucking best play. 61st minute, let's see how we get on here. Doing well so far. Let's get on with this. Oh, what a minute, sugar. Hi. And this is the Guinness, well, goes fucking long. Binden goes back to it. Should have really tried to go to Holmes. Oh my God, we've gone backwards instead of going forwards. Yeared them. Long stuff. Yeah, them. Long stuff. Yeah, them. I saw that. I saw that McCleary going for the elbow. Yeared them going back post. Doesn't get it. Vickers tries to win the second. He's on the second. Yeared them. Going down the line. Smashed it across the face of goal. And there is Lewis Graben to get the goal. Yeared them has now got a goal and assist in this match to show that what a player he is, and McCleary hasn't got anything, not that I hold grudges or give a shit, I don't, I promise. I do a bit. I do a bit. It has been an amazing team performance again, another four goals for us. And here comes McCleary. Tries to go out wide, and he does. Gets the ball out wide, and they come back to defend. Cuts in the inside, cuts back, and there is the guy that scored again. The penalty has got another goal to make it 4-2. Shit defending. That was there. Here comes the bar. What you get in a pub? The bar. Fuck off. If they get another goal now, I'm going to lose my shit. We've got 10 minutes left. Wickham have got a corner. And we're seeing it. We're not seeing it. Right. Well, what's going on then? Wing's going to come off for Miola. And Paul can come off for Nick. Okay, let's go. Four points clear at the table. Hell fucking yeah, boy. But nibs. Fuck you. Now that went to Russia, that one. Jesus Christ. They've had 15 shots. We've had 19. This, this tactic might be the most open tactical play you will have. Not only will you have a shit ton of shots, so will they. It's all about giving love all around. Right, Boyce Clark, what are you going to do with it, huh? He's going long to grab and Is he going to win it this time? No, but Vickers does. Gets a second of it. Goes through to Aziz. Back across. And there's his hat trick. I think that's his hat trick. Hat trick hero. Aziz did a marvellous job with that assist as well. 
But what a pass this was. So Vickers does well here to come out with it. Lovely through ball here to Aziz. Could have shot there. Should have done maybe. But he lays it up to Lewis Graben, who gets his hat trick to make it five. And it makes us come home with all three points and the top goal scorers in the league. And Wickham and Gareth McCleary lose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, literally, if Wickham did have McCleary, I'd probably like him. He doesn't like him. Oh. Right, here we go. So, that was an excellent, excellent performance. So, the next episode will be the last episode of the week for this channel, uh, for this game. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back with, against Lincoln and the points deduction boys with us, Wigan. Um, so Lincoln and Wigan will be the next games we play. Um, so that will be tomorrow's episode. But make sure tomorrow is double upload day as well, as well as today. So today you will be getting a Reading FC news video before this. So make sure you go and check that out. And tomorrow, double upload day as well, where we will have the last game of the week for Reading FC and a Deportivo La Colonia save. 7 p.m. UK time. So make sure you go and check that out. But as that being said, with love, with care, my name's been Mark. You guys have been amazing. And I will see you guys for the last episode of the week for Red and FC tomorrow. Um <laughs>